Developing right now, a fierce court battle between two political powerhouses looming in Cook County. It's a result of the sweetened beverage tax that fizzled today. CBS 2 Susanna Song is live at the Daily Center with more on this one for us. Hi, Susanna. Good morning. Chief Judge Tim Evans is suing County Board President Tony Preckwinkle, and the hearing is going on right now behind me at the Daily Center. Here is the lawsuit. Evans wants an injunction to stop court layoffs. As of now, 156 of his employees are slated to lose their jobs. Judge Evans argues Preckwinkle does not have the authority to cut those jobs and wants sufficient financial support to ensure the proper operation of the court. System. Preckwinkle long insisted that the beverage tax was needed to keep services and jobs intact. And now she defends the budget passed by the board last week, saying delays to the reductions will only result in deeper cuts later. Look at your receipts closely today. The penny an ounce charge on sweetened beverages is a thing of the past here in Cook County. Customers at the 7 Eleven on Wacker and Wabash definitely noticed. Some say they avoided buying pop in Cook County until today. Others say tax or no tax. The habit is hard to break. And then with the tax, it was a dollar thirty-seven. And today it's back to back to a dollar nine. It's like you get more Coke and <laughs> <laughs> more drinks, so it's good. Did you change your habits the last several months with the tax? No. Considering I was paying a little bit more even for non-sugar sweetened beverages, I did stop buying them for a little while. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is the first one I've had in six months. And the revenue can come from somewhere else. Not necessarily layoffs. No. Find another way. Precisely. As for the tax, it lasted four years. It was supposed to bring in about $200 million a year. And the lawsuit that's going on right now is for that hearing. We are told that a Lake County judge was brought in to oversee it in order to avoid a conflict of interest. Reporting live outside of the Daily Center, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Mike, Aaron? All right, thanks, Susanna.